Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. This video is a request from one of my loving fawns. She really wanted me to test out the new Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation Concentrate. I picked up the shade number four, so hopefully it's a good shade match but I mean I always bronze like crazy so even if it's not it doesn't matter because they're bronzing my crazy highlighting and everything else I'll make it work so uh, we're gonna put this to the test my makeup is like half complete because I'm in the middle of doing a tutorial on this eye look so now it's time for me to do foundation I thought I would do a little mini video on the foundation and how it applies so it's dedicated solely to the Fiona Styles foundation and then I'm gonna jump back into this tutorial. So if you guys haven't subscribed to me already, please do so. That way you don't miss out on other future videos. And if you want to see how to get this eye look, any of my other beauty tips and tricks, skincare, hair care, makeup, anything, anything, then just hit that little button down below. But we're going to get started right now. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. And I haven't used this baby yet. I got her on sale for 15 bucks from Ulta. It's back up to 30 unfortunately, but I'll is always having amazing sales so here's to hoping that this is a win so I'm gonna zoom you in now and we're gonna put her to the test oh awesome so it's a pump so I'm gonna pump some on the back of my hands there we go and let's no that may have been too, well no by the time I blend down my neck and everything else Ooh, this may actually be way too light and I always go for foundations that are like three shades darker than my skin tone because I like to fake tan. I do actually have a my loving tan on but it's been like six days so it's really fading out and I really love using my Morphe M439 for foundation and then using a beauty blender just to kind of like finish it off but I hate using a beauty blender to actually blend out foundation. Wow, first impression, this looks really pretty. And it is a perfect match to what my face actually is. Guys, this is beautiful. I think it's actually oxidizing a little bit. It's getting slightly dark, darker, which for me, it's a good thing, but just beware when you buy it it looks like it's getting one shade darker. Like not a huge oxidation, but it's only been a minute. So I've never actually had a foundation oxidized before. But I mean, you can see how light it's going on and how dark the rest of the face is. A little bit goes a really long way. This is like full coverage, but your skin, but better type of thing. Like this is a really beautiful finish. I really was not expecting it to be this good. I've never used like a Fiona style foundation of any sorts before, so I had no idea what to expect. But when I saw it was on sale for $15, I was like, all right, 
now's the time to try it out and it is beautiful see now is when I also like to use the beauty blender because foundations really stain my platinum blonde hair so if I go in with just the brush my root like I am stained like for two inches into my hair so I like to use the blender just to try to get into the hairline and I'm going through some things right now so I have a little breakout happening because there's some major things happening right now Guys, this is honestly like the closest thing I've ever seen for a dupe for the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate. Because this is also a foundation concentrate, so they're both foundation concentrates. This retails for $55, this retails for $30. This never goes on sale unless you get it on the twice a year sale from Sephora VIB Rouge. I mean, that's the only time I've seen where you couldn't get it on sale, but it's only the Sephora sale. I don't know if other sites have it on sale, where at least Ulta is always having sales, but even then it retails for 30 compared to 55. And I would totally call this a dupe for the Marc Jacobs. And I don't even feel it on my skin. Like that's what's blowing me away right now is that it is so full coverage. It's luminous. The luminosity will go away when you set it with powder. And that's when you just bring the dew back in with a, like a dewy setting spray. But this blended like a dream. It barely dyed my hair, which is amazing. I'm really shocked. I'm so impressed by this foundation. And I definitely took too much because this concentrate really does go a long way. The Marc Jacobs concentrate I actually end up using a lot more. And like I said, the only thing with this one is the first time this has ever happened to me is that it did oxidize. But for me, that was a good thing because shade four, even though it matched my skin, by the time I'm done bronzing and everything else, there we go. Well, there's actually a particular way to put the lid back on. Uh, it does, I am happy for me that it oxidized. But for you guys, just be wary. You may want to order a shade down if you don't like the oxidizing. But I mean, let's go all out and throw on some concealer and see how the final product looks with powder. And I also like to use a brush for my concealer. I use my Morphe E20 and it has like a little slight pink tint because I just color corrected before I came on camera. I color corrected and primed. This is like a flawless combination. This is so worth checking out because it is such a middle ground. Even if you can't get it on sale, $30 is not bad. And since you really need the littlest bit, this bottle will last you guys a really long time. My lipstick definitely needs some retouching. In case you guys were wondering, before I wrecked it with foundation, I was wearing a Sugar Pill Strange Love Liquid Lip Color. It like, can never break out unless it's that time of the month. So this was very unexpected. There we go. Thank you, Tarte Shape Tape. That minimized the hell out of that. I 
And for anybody tuning in for the first time who just wanted to see this Fiona Styles in action, since I am taking it all the way right to setting it so we can see how it looks totally done, I'm also doing a major battle of all different products right now. Like, uh, if you go check out my playlist of the battle of videos, I've already done a battle of like the essences, beauty balms, oh my gosh, sleeping masks. I've been working on battling out liquid eyeliners. I've literally tried out at least 20 or so. I'm not even done testing out all of them. I've been battling out setting powders. I'm legit up to like 50 setting powders. So right now, and I'm doing everything from like drugstore, like three, four dollar types all the way up to like $150 setting powders. I'm like doing the whole range. So today I'm testing out the Lancome Translucence Silky Loose Powder in shade 100. They start in the hundreds. So it looks like this. It comes in a really pretty Lancome box like that. It just arrived today actually. So I'm going to test this out. Oh, it has a nice little powder puff. First, I like to try to see if my translucent powders are good enough, like they'll set the foundation well enough with just a brush because I find a brush is just so much easier than the powder puff, but if it doesn't set it well enough where I need it to so that way I can then contour, you know, bronze, blush, highlight, then I'll go in with the powder puff for a little extra setting pout like the extra settings so that way nothing grabs at the foundation so I'm gonna try a brush first I actually love this brush this is by Flower Beauty and it is a really great powder brush so let's go for it Then I like to set under my eyes using my Kat Von D number 25 brush. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm actually really liking this setting powder. This one's going to go in the good bin because there's a lot in the good bin and there's a lot in the bad bin. They're actually all in one bin. <laughs> it's a list. Okay, it is fairly set, but it does need a little extra setting since I am going to go in like a crazy person when it comes to contouring and everything else. So let's test out their powder puff. Let's see if it's good. It's not breaking apart the foundation. Wow, this is like a win, win, win on all fronts. Oh, it makes me happy. I've had a lot of like losses lately. The eyeliner battle, I had like five in a row that were like just atrocious eyeliners. And then I've had a few setting powders that were just terrible. So this makes me very happy when I come across wins. And then I haven't put to the test any kind of new foundations in quite some time, aside from that La Prairie, which I didn't like for me because it wasn't full coverage, but it was, it was a good one for, uh, me, well, it was not even medium, but you could build it up to medium, but it started looking cakey. So this I'm so happy with. I don't know if you guys know this, but whenever you get the powder, you always want to like smush it together in your powder puff and then you want to go in. We are set. 
Wow, well this is a win right across the boards. This foundation is beautiful. It's set beautifully. The powder was amazing. I mean, this video was really about the foundation, but I did want to see how it set. I think that it almost went back to its original color once it was set. It like had a temporary oxidizing in color and then it went back to its original color. I don't know, I've literally never had that happen. Every foundation I've ever tested out has never oxidized. So this was a complete first for me, but now it kind of looks normal again. So I don't know. <laughs> but I really, really love this. It, it looks airbrushed and just flawless and beautiful. You cannot tell you're wearing a full coverage foundation at all. Like I highly recommend this. Like, Two thumbs up, way to go for you in the styles. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful, that if you guys were torn about trying out this foundation, that this helped made up your help you make oh my goodness, that this helped you to make up your minds <laughs> because it really truly is beautiful and at least it is like that middle ground pricing. It's not totally like drugstore pricing, but it's not high-end pricing, but you really do get a beautiful high-end, I would even say luxury finish. Like I keep looking in the mirror, like I don't, like I can't believe that this isn't a luxury foundation. I really can't. It is, to me, hands down a dupe for Marc Jacobs. Now I know we're talking a difference of $30 versus $55, but if you can get it on sale for $15 like I did and then just like stockpile it when you have your shade and then you're talking $15 versus $55, that is such an incredible dupe that's not even funny and it is so worth it. This is beautiful. You guys are going to fall in love. And if you don't like like that luminous fit, like finish, I mean look how I just like mattified it with a, uh, a setting powder. I am so tongue like tied right now. But then I mean I have so many beautiful setting sprays that bring the dew back. Like you can get the Cover FX Illuminating one. You just have to shake it well and hold it eight to 10 inches away from your face. There's no glitter, I promise you guys. If you shake it and you hold it appropriately, the way the instructions tell you, you just get the perfect dew. So if you're looking for that dewiness, the Glam Glow also gives you a really great dew. And also, I mean, you don't need to go into Tarte, but Tarte gives you a great dew and Makeup Revolution gives you a great dew. The Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray, the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. Be careful with this one. If you don't have your hair pulled back, this one will actually make your hair greasy if it gets in your hair. The other ones you can mist away and somehow your hair's fine. This one will make you dewy, but it will make your hair dewy as well, which is not a good thing, obviously. But you do have options. So if you're looking to stay in that drugstore realm and you want dewiness, so I would get the Fiona Styles Foundation Concentrate and then I would pick up the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray and you're gonna have that beautiful, like luxury looking, full coverage, bam, skin. Like, look at this. And this is drugstore. And then you can pick up a drugstore setting spray and I'm telling you, this is beautiful and it will bring the dew right back for you. So you've got a lot of options and I also had a couple really great setting powders from the drugstore that I'm blanking on. But if you guys subscribe to my channel and that battle video pops up, you will get notified and then you will know which drugstore ones are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to stay tuned for that or you want to know what's on my eyes, how to get this eye look, or the lashes I'm wearing, anything like that, that will be in the description bar in the tutorial for this eye look. So again, all of that information will be listed in the other video. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please share, please subscribe if you haven't already. Good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.